When you look at how to power this version of the America's Cup boat, everything below the boat in the water is powered by batteries. Everything above the water, which is fundamentally the sails, is powered by the cyclores. And what the cyclores will do is they're gonna cycle on the boat and we're gonna move a hydraulic pump with our cranks. Now, the better we move that pump, the more dynamic we can be with our sail trim, the faster the boat's gonna be. So the biggest difference between now and Auckland is in Auckland, we were cycling with our arms. We were grinding, we're now cycling with our legs. That's about 20% more powerful. We're very lucky that we've got four non-traditional sailors in our cyclo squad. And we, we saw that as a necessity because they're quite frankly, the four guys we've hired are probably some of the fittest guys in the country. British rowing have sat at the pinnacle of world rowing for the last 30 years. And that system keeps producing gold medals, Olympiad after Olympiad. The British rowing has like given all of us here that like aerobic base which they're amazing at producing because they have the fittest athletes in the world. Like the scores, like the men put out and the women there put out are like, they're like a notch above the rest of the world. Freddie Carr brings knowledge, experience, but he also brings a lot of power. And the knowledge and experience he's got of the cup has been like priceless to us coming into the team. They don't know how to sail. So we, they've been on a pretty intensive course on how to sail, not only sail, but sail at over 50 knots. But fundamentally, they are there to lay down some mega power and they do that and they've done a really good job. I, do you know, I'm very proud of them. I'm very proud of them all. There's no out and out cyclists here but being part of INEOS, we have been able to lean on the INEOS Grenadiers quite a lot. We've been on training camps with them. We have some access to their physiologists, like to their wider team. So for us, like, it's been pretty easy in that sense. Yeah, the lads are used to rowing on lakes that are as flat as a mirror. And that's certainly not what you get out here in, in Barcelona. I think their biggest adaptation is just the exposure to the elements out on the sea all day is hard work. I am highly motivated to bring the cup home because I, I know that that's what the British Sailing Nation wants. And to have that back in the UK for the first time ever would be absolutely amazing. It's going to be fun. It is going to be a challenge, but there's, there's no doubt that these boats are going to be closer in speed than we've seen previously. Therefore, it's gonna come down to the small things, the small details like cycle or fitness. So yeah, we're up for the, the challenge they're gonna throw at us for sure.